Welcome to Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin. Well, this week we take you on a variety of exotics game hunting in Texas. Exotic refers to non-native mammals that landowners have introduced to Texas ranches. The first release of exotics into Texas occurred around 1930 when a group of Nilgai antelope were released on the King Ranch in South Texas. Today, the Texas Hill Country region has become the exotic game capital of the country. And since these exotic game species are non-indigenous to Texas, they may be hunted any time throughout the year, leaving ample time for other hunting opportunities. I have to think, in my opinion, after talking to people across the nation, that exotic game animals are probably one of the most misunderstood animals that you're going to find out there. They are an incredible challenge in, in, the, in the right circumstances to be able to hunt. And in the right circumstances is, is uh, hunting them in something that's similar to their native land where they've got an understanding of the terrain and they've got a fair chance. The exotics that you see us hunt on ours are hunted, uh, they're hunted in large properties, they're hunted in free ranging. I'll take Axis for example. They're more challenging to us than whitetail in a lot of situations and you know it could be a couple of reasons there. It could be there's not as many of them, uh, but I believe that their sense of smell, their sense of hearing and their eyesight and their dominance in certain areas uh, really makes them a tough challenge for us to be able to hunt. I just absolutely crushed a giant axis. I mean, hit him abs. I think I hit him good. It just happened so fast. What happened was, is we're sitting there, and I mean, the light's just barely good enough. He comes out, and he comes right in front of us, like 10, 12, I mean, 15 yards. And then I got settled down. He turns away. Gosh, dude, finally got one of those big bad boys. Man, what an awesome animal. I mean, gigantic. Just, just, I mean, South Texas brush country, we're in the middle of nowhere, and all of a sudden, boom, there's a big old giant axis. Boom! I'm gonna just see if there's any blood, and then we're just gonna wait. We're gonna give it, you know, a couple hours, depending on how much blood there is. We're just gonna make sure we don't push him, my man. We want him to lay down and die. Hopefully it was a great shot. Let's see. Hey, there's the arrow right there. Perfect pass through. Oh my gosh, look at the amount of blood on that arrow right there. That is unbelievable. I mean, that. now that's a lot of blood right there. That's what you want to see on an arrow. There's no doubt about it. Giant axis. <laughs> oh! Oh my goodness, we got pictures of this guy right here for sure. You know, I've never had a whole lot of opportunity to hunt exotics, but to me, what a trophy. They, they're a lot like whitetails. They rut a lot like them. They're huge animals. I mean, this thing is gigantic, majestic looking. I mean, look at that axis. And the coat on them is, I mean, incredible. And I mean, this deer, we really killed this deer because of the work we put in early on. And we, we got the stand set up and everything was right. And then we moved out of those areas for a couple of weeks and we came back and hunted and, and everything was just natural to those deer. And bam, look at that guy. That's awesome. 